this late 2009 Mercedes ML350 is a 3.5 litre petrol and it's a luxury so it's got the much larger Mercedes-Benz alloy wheels it's got the chrome work as well reverse camera electric boot navigation and Bluetooth it's also got the very nice soft leather for a lot of people it's pretty hard to tell the difference between uh, leather and vinyl or soft leather and normal leather basically the way to tell if you're looking at these MLs is how it's in the middle of the front seat it's got these this section here it's perforated in the middle that's how, that's basically how you tell as well as obviously feeling that they're nice and soft it's got climate control which only comes on the luxury I mentioned the navigation it's done 102,000 kilometers and it's even got two remote keys which is fantastic it also has Xenon lights and a Harman Kardon sound system it may look the same as a normal ML350 but the luxury really does have a lot more not to mention memory electric seats sunroof as well so brand new there is quite a considerable difference between a normal ML350 and a luxury and when they get to this stage there's not that big a difference so I think you're much better off spending a bit extra and getting the luxury it's got parking sensors front and back it, it doesn't have the adjustable suspension which is an option it's even optioned with off-road pro which means it has a transfer case and low range it's really not something you want to have if you're not using it a lot because it makes the car weigh a lot more and naturally your maintenance goes up there's a lot more moving parts so it's got memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side it's been serviced really well all the way through right up to date the last service was in 2017 you can also tell if it's got set on lights out it's got that cut out in the front of the bumper that's the washer for the lights this actually comes out and sprays the light it certainly is a very clean example I can't see any dents scrapes or scratches on the car whatsoever the headlights are nice and clear it runs very very well it's, it's smooth the back seat doesn't look like it's had a lot of use like often you'll find these MLs being a family car they've had baby seats in the back and there's dents you know in the leather from the baby seats been in the car for a few years and um, unfortunately you can't really get them out the roof lining's in good condition as well it's not ripped or damaged and really if you've been looking for an ML I think this is a particularly good car they're available in a diesel as well but surprisingly the three and a half litre petrol is quite economical but it's also smooth you don't have glow plugs or turbos or anything like that so a lot of people put the running cost of the car down to how much fuel it uses you can't do that unfortunately you've got to look at the whole the whole picture and with a diesel as I said you've got, a, you've got turbo you've got glow plugs they're a grubbier engine and there's really just a lot more a lot more to go wrong and you know what if you actually want give your mechanic a call and you can tell them you're looking at an 09 late 2009 three and a half litre petrol or a three litre diesel I'm sure they'll tell you exactly the same thing it, uh, the update also came with LED tail lights much better steering wheel wheel package and you can tell from the front, so it, there's actually a big difference between an 07 and an 07, 08 and, and the 09 like this car. See how it's got that down, down there? That's how you can tell if it's an update. The other thing is, as good as a 3.5 litre six-cylinder engine is, they, they did have their fair share of issues from 2005 to sort of 2007. So this is well and truly past that. And with such a good service history... It'll be a great, reliable family car for anyone. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville. We're contactable on 029569 You can ask for myself, Philip, if you've got any questions about the car. I have owned 
an ML and a GL. And we do have in-house in -house finance if that's something you need. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video and we look forward to hearing from you.